Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Civilization VI. Today I want to talk about districts and whether or not I think, you know, personally as a gamer, um, I like them, you know, whether or not they were a good decision or they should have sticked to the old system where you just build buildings in cities, you know? So, um, you know, districts, new thing in Civ VI, in C pretty much every Civilization game before this, you could just build, you know, a library straight up. A temple straight up you know or I think it was like a holy mount or whatever you know or a market straight up you know you could build all these things and uh, that was that you know you had them all in the city and they existed you know and now I don't remember if you had to repair stuff but if you take over a city you not only have to repair the district but you also have to repair the buildings and to build something like a market or a library you have to build a campus a commercial hub a harbor you have to build that first okay that's like, you know, you get, that's the prerequisite. And they also have these adjacency bonuses. For me, I really, really, really like this system. I think this district system is very good in a very specific way. And what this district system does is it makes it so you can't take a city and really make it overpowered if that makes sense what i mean by this is before you would have cities where you're maxing out temples and libraries and banks and the unit production okay and in the older civ games if they had districts they would only actually have four districts plus the city center so you know you'd have all these cities that are mass producing coin and mass producing science, okay? And you could make them do it pretty early on in the game. Now, it kind of balances out where you can have a super science city. And in fact, your cities, if you specialize them in something like gold or science, you could do a lot. Like if you have like a city that specializes in gold, you can make a lot of money at the cost of no science, no culture, you know? And I, I like these districts because it, in the beginning of the game, it makes building cities more than just a land grab. I think one of the problems that a lot of the Civilization games had previous, one of the things was there is a meta of land grabbing, where you were almost required to take over your neighbor to have a shot at winning, or you are required to settle really, really fast if you wanted a chance to win the game. Because you needed all this land, because all the cities had to do everything, you know? And now you can specialize your cities. And you can also, you know, going to war is a little bit more, in my opinion, riskier. Because someone, you know, you have this great science center. Someone doesn't have to take over your city. They can cripple your science production. You know, they can cripple your gold production. So I think it makes uh, battle tactics more interesting, you know. Maybe you go to war with someone not to take a city, but to cripple their economy. Right? You just send a couple armies that are super defensive onto their important districts, like their commercial hubs, and take it out that way. And they have to, you know, be a little bit smarter about their military placement. I really like that aspect. And I, you know, going back to planning cities, I like that you have to plan your cities out. I like that, you know, like a, a campus, you gotta have these rainforests, these mountains, or maybe you have the commercial hub, you gotta plan out rivers and harbors and stuff like that. And then the harbor bonus is with the city. So I think that planning out districts, super dope. I like it. And just on a side note, I think that when you're planning out your districts, I think it's balanced pretty well, actually, because, you know, a science district, the main thing that gives it its bonus is mountains, right? So if you're, and, and religion, built the religious district. So if you're going to go for a place where you have high science yields or high faith yields, the cost is that either you have these rainforest tiles that really don't do anything, or you have the mountain tiles. Or, you know, you have the religious building with the forest tiles, which are actually pretty good. And so you kind of have to plan it out that way. And not only that, but if you put a district down, it takes away the tile yields, you know? So you can put something like a campus district in a good spot. But like for me, there was a really good campus district one time on one of my files. But I had to get rid of horses to do it. I got rid of a horse resource. I actually ended up not doing it because I changed tactics. Or 
you know, th there's a city one time I built on a file and it was in a bunch of mountains and the city I put in these mountains, it didn't have a lot of yield tiles and I sacrificed another tile that I could have been using to produce food to build the science district. So overall, I really, really like science or not science districts. I like districts. I think it's a fun addition to the game. Um, it works well with the policies too. You know, it just, I, I feel like it's a natural progression now that there's all these different kinds of buildings. I mean, think of how many buildings are in Civilization VI. Could you imagine every city having every single building? That's a lot. And I like, it kind of does balance out because you grow your cities up as the game progresses, so then you have room for more districts. But they definitely don't take away. Like, it's not like, oh, you can finally build a commercial up district and it takes 20 turns to build, you know? So let me know what your thoughts are about districts in the comments below. They're definitely a game changer. Change to battle tactics, change to build tactics, change to everything. And I'm interested to know how you guys feel about them. That's it. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at making videos and playing video games and building districts. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.